What's up? What's going on? What's good? Boxing Source here. And I wanted to talk about an article that was posted early this morning. Um, this is in reference to Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. <laughs> There's been many things that have been said about this fight. Um, if it's happening or if it isn't happening. And I did kind of like have a take on it. Um, a couple days ago, um, I said that I didn't feel like it was going to happen this year, not because of, you know, either party, but because the financial circumstances surrounding the event itself is too much to have it at this particular time or within the next two months, whether it would have been December uh, 5th, 12th, 19th, whatever. It's going to be a joint pay-per-view with Fox and with ESPN being involved. And I don't think that they had the resources in order to make it happen by December. But it seems like there was more to this, supposedly. Uh, there has been an article posted on The Athletic that uh, came down early this morning. And it says, heavyweight champion Tyson Fury is foregoing the trilogy fight with Deontay Wilder. That's what Tyson Fury told Mike Coppinger after organizers failed to deliver a date for the event in 2020. I was looking forward to smashing Wilder again. A quick and easy fight, <laughs> Fury said. But Wilder and his team were messing around with a the date. <laughs> they don't really want to fight the millennial heavyweight champion. They know how it ends. The world knows how it will end with Wilder on his ass again. I'm Tyson Fury, that chip sake. Right? Um, and it goes on, uh, it says like, you know, it said that, uh, the fight was supposed to happen in July, but Wilder, 34 years of age, claimed an injury and pushed the date to October before trying to put, push the date twice more. And then it goes on and continues. Then he asked me if I would agree to push it to December. I agreed to December 19th, Fury said. Then they tried to change the date again into next year. I've been training. I'm ready. When they tried moving off December 19th and pushing to next year, and that was enough. I've moved on. Right? Huh. Um, and, I mean, the, uh, you know, this article continues and uh, it says that uh, Fury will now look to return December 5th in a UK homecoming bout after three consecutive fights in the US, according to sources. The opponent hasn't been determined yet. The move paves the way for Fury to meet Anthony Joshua in a clash for the undisputed heavyweight championship in 2021. Now, oh, there's a good, good amount of things to dissect from this. Um, you know, of course, we've had the news of, you know, what happened in Wilder's camp. Um, we've had the stories that have come out in reference to a supposed injury by Deontay Wilder or suffered by Deontay Wilder in reference to a uh, bicep injury. Um, in that he had surgery for that bicep. Um, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I don't know, like, what the, um, you know, rehab, um, you know, the time for rehab for that would be uh he's had issues with uh his bicep before uh if y'all remember uh during the fight that he had with chris Ariola, he suffered an injury to his bicep in his shoulder which sidelined him uh for the rest of that year after that particular fight so uh that was you know you know 2016 uh after he had his fight with um archer spilka then he had a fight with Chris Ariola, suffered an injury, was out for the rest of that year. He didn't come back until February 2017 against Gerald Washington. Um, so if he if he had an injury uh, in this fight with Tyson Fury, then most likely uh, he would have been sidelined for the rest of the year anyway. But he's been out and about supposedly. He's you know posted um, you know videos about. You know, him, you know, out doing, um, what's it, deep sea diving or whatever it is. Uh, of course, we know about the uh, twerking video 
But either way, um, we haven't really heard directly from Deontay Wilder in reference to this particular fight. We've heard from, you know, multiple other parties, but not directly from Deontay Wilder. Um, other than that, you know, comments that were in that PBC podcast uh, a couple months ago. But in reference to this um, in particular, if this is the case that um, Tyson Fury is moving on and that Deontay Wilder um, is, you know, being, you know, taken off due to a uh, contract stipulation of, of sorts and that the uh, rematch clause had a certain date that it had to happen and if it's not happening then the contract is null and void then okay Tyson Fury can move on um he could like you said uh, have this fight on December 5th in the UK which means that that opponent pretty much has to get ready now because um camp usually is an eight-week camp and here we are about seven or eight weeks till December 5th right okay so then after that, uh, he could probably have one more fight before, you know, the uh, undisputed heavyweight championship fight with Anthony Joshua if that does come down by next summer. You do have, um, you would have had the WBC mandatory due, but of course, Dylan White lost to Alexander Povetkin and you have that rematch that's coming up uh, in November. So, with that being said, it is going to be interesting to see uh, who Tyson Fury fights after uh, this planned December 5th fight in the UK. And then after that, you have the fight with Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua has uh, his upcoming defense against Kubat Pulev. Uh, and then we'll see if the WBO mandatory... Uh, gets called, and then he would have to face the winner of, I guess, uh, Alexander Usyk and Derek Chisora. But in this case, with Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, it's more to try to dissect and break down because, like I said, we've heard from just about every other party but Deontay Wilder. And that is, I think, really telling because Deontay Wilder is a very confident person, is a very outgoing person. So if you're not able to hear from him in reference to all of this, then that's got to be um, really interesting that Tyson Fury says, you know what, I'm going to move on. The contract had a specific date where we're supposed to have this third fight. Supposedly, it was said that Deontay Wilder was ready in July, but he had surgery and this and that. So many reports that don't really make sense, but we uh, have this here right now, like I said, through The Athletic, uh, that Tyson Fury is moving on from a third fight, at least for now, and we'll have an opponent set for December 5th. Um, kind of interesting, uh, addition to this, uh, through Lance Bugmeyer of The Athletic. He says, watching the December Fury fight vanish lightens Wilder's wallet, but the former long reigning champion has increased strength training and can complement that with a devotion to world work. By taking on a Fury-like foe in six foot seven Robert Hellenius, and then a pressure puncher like a fit Andy Ruiz Jr., Wilder can rebuild himself into someone suited to face Fury or Joshua. Pretty interesting comment from Lance Pugmire and kind of like, you know, goes into what uh, Tyson Fury did before the second fight. Um, but I do think Wilder should do the same thing in order to develop a uh, better approach against Tyson Fury. Uh, but it remains to be seen if he's going to do that against someone the likes of a Robert Hellenius or an Andy Ruiz Jr. or Charles Martin or somebody like that. Okay, that's what I got in reference to this particular topic. You subscribe to the Boxing Source here on YouTube and catch the Boxing Source Radio Show live Sunday, 7.30 on Blog Talk Radio. It's on iTunes. It's on iHeartRadio. It's on Spotify. It's on Google Podcasts. Whatever you use for your podcast app, the Boxing Source is on there. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.